Why do the kobolds think the relic was stolen by the mites? Kobal, chief, silly, ugly, old. He lose last mind, listen, you shaman, Tartuk. Shaman, not so ugly. But angry, tricksy, say wicked, mite. I catch him and make crown from his scale. Pretty crown, purple. So, well, that's the thing, is all he needs is one of the keys, then. Why, why would the mites take the key from the kobolds if they only need one, if you only need one key to get in? Like, Tartuk, I assume, nicked it from the kobolds and got the kobolds to fight the mites so that he could go into the sacred hall on his own. Uh, do you know where the purple skin shaman is now? He prowl dungeon near our house. We see he wants, but not catch. Want to find shaman, look underground. No more questions. I would hear my companion's advice. Once, why support either? Do you think they'll ever listen to you? Let, let us battle these little ones, both groups, and be done with it. It's up to you, but we should remember that living among such creatures could be dangerous. The kobolds and mites are aggressive, poorly organized, and unreliable. It's better to exile them, or not interfere, lest, we in get, lest we're entangled in their unworthy deeds. They haven't done anything bad. We shouldn't attack them. I wish they would make peace. But if that is uh, possible, let's side with Sootscale of the Kobolds. They're so funny. They haven't the guile to lie. Yeah, you should make peace and search for the relic together. Never! Death to traitors! The Might Queen Swigs a Blade. We know retreat. Choose who supports stranger or enemy us all. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to... I don't know what the neutral thing is. Which is a problem. Which is, yeah, alright. So side with the kobolds and chief soot scale. I don't think there's a good choice here. Um, so Valerie says, like, basically you're getting involved in politics. Amory's just like, fight everyone. But what else is new? And Octavia's like, oh, we should sight, we should, yeah, okay. I don't want to help either of you. I'm staying out of it. Let us free the land of these dangerous creatures. Not exactly what I meant. Protect queen! Cobalt fight! Hold, stranger! I go my shaman tartuk. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Can I just ignore them? Where do we want to go? Annoyingly, I think I want to go that way. All right, we're fighting. All right, fair, fair enough. Do not falter. Oh yeah, the mites are gonna. Oh, the cobbles are gonna have some stuff. Is that Octavia? Oh my goodness, Octavia, stop it! You even still got your bow out. Why are you up close? This is for you. Right, I don't know which way we want to go then. We want to find a way into the dungeon. Is there anything useful? Oh, there's money. That's a little spear. Uh, less useful. Ooh, we'll take the gems and stuff, but that's it. Oh, that's all. All right, okay. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. Right, okay, hang on. Right. Yeah. Position. Are you going to move up now? No, only the range of people. Onward. Oh, no, I didn't mean to depress that button. Sneaky might! Guys up. I feel bad for attacking everyone. Maybe I should have sided with one, picked one, one group to side with, but. Let's avoid the camp up there. Can we go up here? No. Not directly, at any rate. Yeah. Oh, all right. Shaman? Me. Well, he's turned around to attack me. 
No, not the fear. No, no, stop it. No, no fear. Fear bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Marie's coming back. That's not what I meant. Oh, all right. Good. You forced my hand. I love how they're like, yeah. Marie, what are you doing? You're still under fear. Okay. There is still time for surrender. That's really not, sadly. Okay. Oh, there he is. You're gonna help us in case we get frightened again. I hope that they can't be targeted. I think it's around this way we want to go. Up. Yeah, this makes sense. Oh, that does tell me, though, that maybe this level is... Well, apart from that section, this level... What, this? A cobweb lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by the sorry state of scales, he's the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light. His throat struggles to form words. Our patch. Our celestial radish. Ick, radishes. We grew them back in my village one day. Um, while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed it from me and threw it into the fire. Then he made me pick go pick radishes. It was autumn. The ground was wet and cold and worms everywhere. Ugh, filthy roots. Um, about that radish. The oldest cobbled lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. There are enough radishes for everyone. You mustn't fit it a bit others. I will take what I want. I don't need all of it. I will leave half of what I dig out for you. The cobbled stop talking surprised. Their leader's eyes light up with curiosity. Good deal. Why don't you draw the war against the mites? Mites, silly, but soot scale also. There are more important things in life. Well, I must go. We have our radishes. Is that all that's up here? I believe so. So there we go. We got that quest done as well. What's that? Another token of the dried. Uh, we're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. And I hope it leaves us. Al I think it's going to leave us alone, though. Why was there loot here? What, what are you talking about? Right, you're not attacking me, which is always good to know. There's some loot around. And I can't talk. It won't let me talk. Actually, can I just sneak around you? You be nice and let me sneak around. This is just a cliff. Um, the body of a woman fouled beyond recognition. Her thing is still clenched, a clench, a torn leather leash. I'm going to just quick save, just in case we die horribly. Right. Magic chain shirt. Uh, went into the woods, found many roots, pine cones, flowers, and a dead squirrel. Scant little I can make of that. I must consider where I might get gain rare ingredients for my experience. Is this, did you attack the shambling man? Some raccoons got into the hut while I was exploring the woods, broke all the glassware. The only thing left are ten flat bottom glass tubes. Five round bottom flasks, a couple of porcelain mortars, three pestles, and the precious spiral. Good thing all the pots are still there. So many good chemicals wasted. Shame. Need to lock everything up in the closet. Tried to finish the experiment today, the one I started at the old lab. Used the lead powder from the master's box. At the crystallization stage, the liquid foamed, changed color, and formed a deposit. Another unsuccessful experiment, and I've all but exhausted my supply of essential materials. Okay, I have to actually get this in the book, in the inventory, actually. Info. Right, ah, okay. Caught a raccoon with a snare trap. Didn't get didn't get him to the hut in time. Perhaps I could ask some hunters for help in catching experimental subjects. But I must save money. Besides, I see how those bumpkins scowl at me as if I've grown horns. Third attempt at the crystallization experiment. Broke the last round bottom flask. I recall my tutor calling me ham-handed and making me clean up. Perhaps he was right. But he did teach me much, despite everything. 
But why didn't he wish me to develop my abilities? Didn't he want me to learn anything beyond the basic potion recipes? Kept saying I wasn't ready, but in truth he feared the students passing the teacher. And for good reason! I shall prove this process works. I'll prove it to everyone. Today an old lady came from the nearby village asking me to make her goat's yield more milk. I had to help. I'm in desperate need of money. Oh, why must I spend my time so... Boring. Boring. Boring! Several pages remain empty, then the writings continue. Observation day one. Finally, finally I got a chance I can't miss. I found a dying elf in the woods, barely breathing. Ants were swarming all over her. Who is she? What happened to her? It matters not. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. With great effort, I managed to drag her to the hut, remove her clothes, and hide her behind the bags in the corner. Enough wasting my talents on trifles. It's time for action. Use the largest glass tube from the master's box, the one with the warning. In case of contact with skin, wash immediately. Ha! The doffing parrot of all the standard warnings. I spread it evenly over her body and began my observations. Observation day three. The subject has survived. Had to tie her up and gag her. The moaning could attract unwanted attention. Her skin is changing, but it's hard to determine the precise character of these changes. The early stages of festering, perhaps? The treated areas do smell faintly. Observation day five. The changes continue, faster and faster. The epidermis has fasted away. The joints are growing swollen, tough, and calloused. The subject has a fever. Observation day nine. Is this the shambling mound that's been made? Observation day nine. Over the past few days, the subject's legs become covered with mildew and moss. Her fingers and toes grow long and crooked as though she would grow into the ground. I shall move the subject outside. The experiment now demands sunlight. Observation day 13. The body's changes are so significant, it's impossible to recall the creature's original appearance from the way it looks now. And seething gr a seething growth covers the whole body's surface. Every day I find new kinds of moss, mildew, grass, and other plants. The subject attempts to move, had to immobilize her. I tried to make contact, but she utters inarticulate sounds alike to howling. Might intelligence be restored at a further stage, stage of regeneration? Observation Day 18. The subject has grown larger several times. She is now strangely quiet these pa last few days. I'm beginning to worry. In the end, I see I've become attached to her. She will make me famous. Observation day 25. My living experiment shows all signs of obedience. She is much like a little tree. A magnificent walking tree. She is already eight foot tall. And the child keeps growing. I wish to give her space and more fresh air and sunlight. I suspect we shall, shall need some fertilizer. For now, I only walk her around the woods on a leash. This is the greatest achievement of my career. Soon we'll be ready for a journey to Absalom, and there, there I'll present my masterpiece. Peace. I must think of a name for my girl. So that's that's you. Oh, I can't talk to you. I can only attack you, and I don't want to. I don't. Do I? Is there a way of talking? We should prepare. Or is it only the attack button I've got? Inspect. No. Yeah, it's only attack. Tread light. No. No. How do I... Select all characters. Oh, that's really sad. I'm not afraid. Oh. You deserved it. Okay. Send the hill. Done. You're but a footnote in our story. Oh, hello. You can't Forwards. stop me. Tear them apart. That's no, so you there. You there. No, no. Last wishes. I'll try to make this sweet. out of our story. Yeah. <laughs> Completely reduced, but I think that's because these guys are Fey, aren't they? Maybe I could do bless, couldn't I? Oh, it's only on. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to choose. It's not a. Ah, okay. That one's different to the other bless. Oh, it's that bless I would want. Oh well. I think we're already at this point now. That's fine. Gold, that. Take the various things to that are valuable. Maybe I'll think about using some scrolls at some point. Maybe, possibly. I doubt it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's these things, isn't it? These guys are poison. Oh no. Okay. We're all alive. So where do I want to go then? Nice purse and valuable thingies. Right, so we want to find Tartuccio, and he's somewhere here. Apparently. Right. Fragment of a necklace. Rest of Oc Ranger's broken arrow. Read this document. Uh, my dear Kenneth Plamer, with your desire to pursue a new archaeological mission in mind, I spent a few hours in my library today and identified a location worthy of your research. In the northeastern part of the Riverlands lies a region called the Stolen Lands, River Kingdoms. Many antiquities can be found in such places. No doubt an inquisitive researcher would be able to find old coins, significant cultural remnants, and even pieces of artifacts that might be restored. Naturally, you shall require the services of a specialist to evaluate your findings during your travels. I've no doubt of your ability to recruit such a specialist once you arrive in the Stolen Lands. Such contacts can typically be made in large cities or settlements. You would not want your return journey encumbered with items of scant value or interest, after all. Before you set off, it is my obligation to warn you that this place is, is untamed and can be perilous. Watch out, watch, not out, watch out not only for bandits and monsters, but also impassable swamps and dangerous open plains. Should you decide to visit the Stolen Lands, I strongly urge you, Kenneth, to hire a professional guide and, better yet, guards. It is wise to take precautions. I should appreciate it greatly if you return with a few amusing curiosities for me as a token of your friendship. Your true friend, Agnes Bregan. Oh dear. Right. Where are we going? Do we go further down this way? Oh, giant frog. Greater giant frog. I mean, you're not really what I'm after. And you look like you might be poisonous because there's a skull on your back. Oh, kobolds! Kobolds are here. So it's come to this. Oh, sorry. This, you're still fighting. <laughs> 